Hi students. In this lecture, I am going to discuss optical fibers. Let us see some of the important points. They work on the principle of total internal reflection. They are made of plastic or glass. The inner part is known as cone and the surrounding is known as cladding. They are used to transmit data using light. Let us see once the working principle. So it is a long thin wire having main two parts in that. The innermost one is known as, it is known as a core, innermost one. Let us take here. So you can see in this, <clears throat> this is a long wire in that this is known as a cladding. And this inner one that is known as a core. Core having a more refractive index compared to that of cladding. Let us take it is having refractive index a mu one. And for cladding it is mu two. So here condition is mu one is greater than mu two. Now let us take a light ray instant. Let us take here light ray. And this is angle of incidence. After refraction enters into the core, So this is now angle of refraction. Suppose we are keeping now this fiber in a medium which has refractive index mu m. So m stands for medium. So light ray enters from this outer medium to into the core. <laughs> Let us take now at this boundary, Snell's law, that is mu m sin i that is equal to mu 1 sin r. Okay. So we have taken now Snell's law at this boundary. So here condition is that if this angle is greater than critical angle, then this lies light undergoes total internal reflection. And if this is a C, then this also C. If this is a slightly greater than C, it reflects completely. If this is C, this is also C. Because angle of incidence and angle of reflection both are C. Now, if this is a C, this is also C. Or it can say slightly greater than C, then having reflection at each and every point. Like this, light is confined to only the inner part. And here, more important, most important one is light is now reflecting completely. Its meaning is that there is no energy loss in the propagation of light. So this is helping us to transfer energy from one place to other place because there is no energy loss while propagating. Okay. Now focus your relation. When I value is more, R also more. Because mu of medium and mu1, these values are constant. So more is the I value, more is the R value. Now coming to here. This is R. This is 90. So this will be C equal to 90 minus R. 
I'm writing here C value 90 minus R. That is, or you can say R value. It is 90 minus. Now, this key point is that at this point, angle of instance must be at, at least greater than C or you can say slightly greater than C to have reflection completely. That means we can see here minimum angle. So what is minimum angle there? When I value maximum, R value max. When R value maximum, 90 minus R is minimum. I am repeating here. When I value is maximum, R value max. When R value maximum, 90 minus R is maximum. Sorry, 90 minus R is minimum. If that minimum value, if that minimum value is greater than or equal to C, light undergoes total internal reflection. Now take limiting case. It is slightly greater than C. Okay, means I am taking here 90 minus R equal to C. That implies R equal to 90 minus C. So when we are taking this, remember I value is maximum. So I will write here mu of the medium sign. Let us take that maximum value as I naught. I will write here I naught is maximum value of angle of incidence okay i am taking it as i naught so when i am taking i naught in the place of r we can take 90 minus c only in this case okay so it is now mu1 side 90 minus c now this is equal to mu1 cos c. In the place of cos c, we can write square root of 1 minus 1 minus sine square c. Okay. And we are knowing that at this junction, means at this point, we can see 4 is now medium 1 and the cladding is now medium 2. <laughs> okay. For this pair of media, for this pair of media, you can see sin C is equal to mu 2 by mu 1. Okay. Substitute that here. Then see what we get. Sin C mu 2 by mu 1. So mu 2 by mu 1 whole square. So we are going to get square root of square root of mu1 square minus mu2 square. Okay. So that implies, see what is sin i naught. That is equal to 1 by mu of the medium. 1 by mu of the medium into square root of mu1 square minus mu2 square. Okay. And in this, in this, sin I naught is known as sin I naught. It is known as numerical aperture. It is known as numerical aperture. Okay. So, a key point is that when angle of instance is maximum, R also maximum. When R is maximum, here angle will be minimum. And that minimum angle must be greater than or equal to C. So we have taken here the limiting case. That is, C is approximately equal to C. Or you can say slightly greater than C. Because there must be total internal reflection. Then light travels within the core without any energy loss. So this principle is used 
to transfer energy from one place to other place. Okay. And this is known as numerical aperture. Let us now focus problems based on this. So in the previous problems, we have used the same principle. Let us see once. Yes. You can see in this question, if you observe, N1 1.5, N2 1.44, this is less than 1.5. <laughs> okay. So this is nothing but optical fiber. So light enters from here, undergoes total internal reflection. Okay. So light is confined to only this region. This is optical fiber. And we have solved one more question. Yes, you can see this question also. Alpha maximum. So entering here, reflects completely. So this also optical fiber. Okay. So in these questions, without using the word optical fiber, so we have solved these problems, right? We can see condition here, N1 greater than N2, right? Okay, let us now focus problems based on optical fibers. Now see once data given here, light guidance in an optical fiber can be understood by considering a structure comprising of a thin solid glass cylinder of refractive index N1 surrounded by a medium of a lower refractive index N2. So remember here, this is now cladding, okay, having less refractive index. And this is now inner one, known as core. The light guidance in the structure takes place due to successive total internal reflections at the interface of media N1 and N2 as shown in the figure. This is now optical fiber. Okay. So core and this is now cladding. Condition is N1 greater than N2 because to have total internal reflection condition is light has to travel from denser to rarer medium. That's why N1 should be greater than N2. All rays with angle of instant psi less than a particular value IM are confined in the medium of a refractive index N1. The numerical aperture of the structure is defined as sine of that maximum angle of instance. So this is what we have discussed till now, right? So ask the question in 2015 and once, okay? Now see question basing on that. So it is a paragraph, right? Paragraph. See in that first question, for two structures, namely S1 and S2, okay? So for S1, given N1, N2. So for S1, a refract index of core, a refract index of cladding, okay? Means you can understand like, S1 means it is one optical fiber. S2 means it is one more optical fiber, okay? For the first optical fiber, N1, a refract index of core, N2, that of cladding. S2 is now second optical fiber. For that, N1 is refract index of core and N2 is that of cladding. Okay. And taking refract index of water to be 4 by 3 and that of it to be 1. So we have to choose now correct options. So numerical aperture, NA means numerical aperture of S1 immersed in water is the same as that of S2 immersed in a liquid of refract index 16 upon 3 root 15. And given some more options like this. So just now we have discussed what is numerical aperture. It is just a matter of putting the values in that. Okay. Let us see once calculation part.
So first note down the values given. First of all, for the first one, see what is given structure one structure. Structure one, structure two. In this, the values of n one, n two, and here n one and n two, n one and n two. See n one value and n two value. How much they have given? Let me see once. Let me see the values here given. Coming to S1, given N1 value, root 45 upon 4, N2 value 3 by 2. Okay. Coming to S2, N1 is given 8 by 5 and N2 value 7 by 5. Okay. And refract index of what is 4 by 3. Now see first option. Numerical aperture of S1 immersed in water. So first let me write here expression for numerical aperture. That is known as sine I0, right? And this value is 1 by mu of the medium into root of mu 1 square minus mu 2 square. So here notations are different. They have taken n1, n2. Here we have discussed mu1, mu2. Okay. Let us do one thing. For s1, what is the value of root of mu1 square minus mu2 square? In the same way, for s2, what is the value of root of mu1 square minus mu2 square? Okay. I think that makes our calculation more simple. So for S1, I am calculating root of mu1 square minus mu2 square. See how much it is root of mu1 square 45 upon 16 minus 3 by 2, 9 by 4. Let us multiply with 4 and divide with 4. Then see 36, 45 minus 36, that is 9. 9 by 16 means 3 by 4. Okay. For S1, the value of square root of mu1 square minus mu2 square. For S2, this value, see how much? For S2, it is 8 by 5, 64 by 25. Minus 49 upon 25. See how much we get? 64 minus 49. It is 15. Okay. So root 15 upon 5. Right. Okay. Now calculate. Verify the first option. Numerical aperture of S1 immersed in water. Immersion water means, so I am verifying option 1. Immersion water means, I have to take mu of medium is 4 by 3. Okay, 4 by 3 means, 4 by 3 means it becomes now 3 by 4 into this value. How much we got? 3 by 4, right? Wait, it is again 3 by 4. Just the put, put the value here. 3 by 4, right? This value 3 by 4. So it is now how much? 9 by 16. That is for S1. When it is immersed in water, is same as that of S2. Immersed in a liquid of refractive index 16 upon 3 root 15. Let me check it once. So 1 by mu m. I am taking here. That becomes now 3 root 15 
1 by mu m means by 16, okay, in the place of 1 by mu m into this value root 15 upon 5. Root 15, root 15, that becomes a 15. In 15, 5, 3 times, 3, 3 is 9. It is 9 upon 16. So option A is correct one, okay. It is just putting the values in that and making the calculation. So option A is correct, okay. In the same way, we can verify option C. Now coming to option C. See what we are going to get. Option C. See what is the question given there. I think we can verify option set. So here we got 3 by 4. And this is now root 15 by 5. Let me see one's options. I want to verify option C. Yes, one placed in A. It is in A. As that of S2 yes, immerse in a liquid of refractive index 4 by root 15. Okay. So here correct options are A and C. So I have verified option A and you can verify option C. Okay. Let us go to the next problem. So in that paragraph, next one is, if two structures of same cross-section area but different numerical apertures N A1 and N A2 are joined longitudinally, the numerical aperture of the combined structure is, students, it is very simple if you understand the logic. So he is saying that, we are joining two wires longitudinally for the combined structure. What is numerical aperture? Condition given N A2 less than N A1. See once N A2 less than N A2. Is less than N A1. Okay. We can take like this. This is first optical fiber. And we are taking the second one. It is joined longitudinally. This is now second one. Okay. Now first understand what is the meaning of that. Sign, sign of the maximum angle of incidence. That is called a numerical aperture. Okay, that means at this structure, so what can be the maximum angle of incidence? Okay, okay, to understand, I am taking suppose N A2 it is 30 degree, N A1 40 degree. Just to understand easily, I am taking values here. Now understand the meaning of N A1. Okay. For example, for this it is N A1. Okay. And for this it is N A2. Okay. So in this structure, in this structure, angle of instance can be maximum 40. Means any value less than 40 is okay. So this is for what? Any value less than 40, it undergoes total internal reflection at this phase. If angle of instance here less than 40, for any angle of instance less than 40, this undergoes total internal reflection at the surface. So maximum value 40. Okay. Now coming to for this one, any value that is that is less than 30, it undergoes total internal reflection. In such a case, when we take combination like this. When we take combination like this, when it comes to here, here also it has to undergo total internal reflection. Okay. That means for the combination, see what can be the maximum angle of incidence. So for this maximum 40, for this maximum 30. 
So for combined one maximum value means it is 30. I hope you got the logic for combined one. So for this maximum 30, any value less than 30, okay for this one. Any value for this less than 40, okay. For combined structure, any value less than 30 is okay, right? That's why for the combined structure, 30 is the maximum angle of incidence. That means n a1 greater than n a2. Therefore, for a combined structure, n a2 is the numerical aperture. I hope you got this logic. Okay.